Right, so in this video we're going to continue with sequences and series and like I said in the last video in this unit we're really going to be working with arithmetic sequences and series but first of all we're going to start with sequences we'll see what the difference is between the sequence and the series later and in this lesson we're going to look at a formula for the nth term. But first of all, if we're doing arithmetic sequences, it's but we would need to know what an arithmetic sequence is. Because as we've seen in the last video, not all sequences are necessarily arithmetic sequences. So basically in arithmetic sequences one where the difference between two terms one after another the difference is always the same. So I can give you some examples here just to show you what I mean. In this one the difference is always 3, so that's an arithmetic. If I write down some other sequence here, like, um, let's see. The difference is always a half, so that is an arithmetic series. But, say, for example, now I wrote something like, That's not, because you can clearly see here that the difference is 7 and then it's changing and the difference between the numbers is increasing as we go along. So the difference isn't the same between each number that follow. So say the ones that follow we're just looking at these two, these two and these two. If you jump, we'll just get everything confused. And you might not be able to notice as well if that's an arithmetic sequence or not. So, basically, this is going to be a formula. It's going to be a plus n minus 1 in brackets times d and we already know that n is the term but in the past we haven't really used a and d in sequences and series so I'm gonna tell you what they are a is basically the first term in the sequence so whatever the first term is, we'll put that in, that's A. And D is the common difference in the sequence. So a difference between two numbers that follow each other in the sequence. So now we're just going to practice using this formula a bit. We're going to find the 15th term using this formula. So A is 2, the first term is 2. We want to find the 15th term, so we're going to put 15 in here. And we've got to take one away from that, and the difference is 3. So we're going to get 2 plus that's going to become 14 times 3 that's going to be 42 let's just do it a bit slower just so you can follow so term 15 u15 
is equal to 44 for this first sequence. That's basically what this notation means. It's basically just so that we don't have to write loads of stuff down. Okay, so let's look at the next one now. I think for the last one I might change that to 101 just to make it a bit more of an interesting number. So in this one the first term's one. We want to find the thirtieth term. And the difference is four. That should actually be thirteen. If the difference is four. So I'm gonna get one plus 29 times 4 so that's going to give us let's see we're going to have 1 plus 4 times the 30 would be 120 and then if I subtract the 4 from that that's going to be 116 so it's going to be 117 so for this one u30 is equal to 117. Just putting the numbers into the formula, the usual. Okay, so this one I want to find the 101 term. So first number is 4. So it's 4, I want to find 101, so I'll put 101 in here. And take one away from that. And the difference here is 9. That should be a plus in there. So that's 4 plus this. So that's 4 plus 100 times 9. Which would be 4 plus 900. 904. So term 101 in this sequence here would be 904. Now, this last problem here, we can read what it says. That we want to find the first term of an arithmetic sequence. The common difference is 6 and the tenth term is 50. So basically we know that this is what we know. And if u tens fifty and we can say fifty is equal to and then we know what the common difference is because it tells when the problem that's six. So we can put a because we don't know what a is, it doesn't tell what a is. And it tells us 50 is the 10th term, so end 10, and the difference is 6. So we're going to be left with an equation here. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to simplify this. 50 equals a, and then that's going to be 9 times 6. That's going to be 54. And then, as you can see, this is easy to solve. We'll subtract 54 from both sides. We'll get a is equal to minus 4. So the first term for that sequence will be minus 4. So let's really quickly just try and convince you of something to show you that this formula will generate what you 
would be expectant to see here. We know that the first term's two. We're doing u n, so that's not known. The difference is three. When we simplify this, we in fact get and that would give for three n minus one, which is the correct rule as we've seen in the last video. So it does actually find you the nth term so you don't have to look through the sequence and recognise patterns. This is much better method.